at the last show, I went to war with Zayden Kane in what was the best match in the history of all of Top Notch Wrestling Alliance. And I am still the longest reigning TWA champion in history. But then Connor Cross, he doesn't mention either of those. Instead, he wants to come in front of the camera and paint me as the bad guy. Well, just because I don't own the trademark anymore, I am still the rogue, and I'm about to go rogue. Ever since I won the TWA championship last year, Connor Cross, you've done nothing but drain the life out of my championship reign so far because you're either mentioning me or the title in every single one of your videos. And you think this whole company in the TWA Championship revolves around you, Mark Man. You call yourself the best in the business. The best in what? Working out, cardio, tanning, training, working out. Say you do just one, Connor Cross. Other than lounging around, smoking some cigars, and all you can eat buffets. And then you want to come in front of the camera and you want to say, D bags, the Joshua Twirls. What are you, scared to use bad words now, tough guy? Because it's all you ever do anyways. You come in front of the camera and use a bunch of profanity. Favor, and I beat your god brains in. And you old, decrepit piece They sat together in the goddamn schoolyard. You remember when you were champion, Connor Cross? I don't. But your ego does. Your ego is so big that you actually carry a picture of yourself with the TWA title around in your gear bag. And I think it's pathetic. And you're concerned with what I wear and what I look like? Again. You say I got the people fooled. Fooled with what? Maybe I got them fooled just as much as you do, saying you're from Canada, Ohio boy. But the fact is, Connor Cross, you envy me. Your biggest sin isn't gluttony, it's envy. It is what it is. It is what it is. The flavor of the month. The flavor of the month. Back to the top of the mountain. To get back at the top of the mountain. You weren't the first. Probably won't be the last. You're not the first. You're definitely not going to be the last. You say you're a pillar in TWA. Well, I say that collapsed a long time ago under your weight. You want to know why I call myself the last hope? It's not in the business. I am the last hope for all of professional wrestling. Unlike you, Connor Cross, I'm a dying breed. I grew up watching Bret Hart versus Shawn Michaels. I actually traveled and paid thousands of dollars to join a real professional wrestling school. So yeah, I am the last hope from all the trash bag, wannabe, cosplay, untrained wrestlers who don't belong. I think Connor Cross, I asked you, what have you done? to earn this title match against me. Because all you did was several days a week, every week, all hours of the day and night, is call and text the bookers and owners of TWA to politic your way into getting another title shot at Joshua Charles as a TWA champion. Well, congratulations, crybaby. You got your rematch. You're selfish, Connor Cross. You're selfish. But the fact is, no one in TWA supports me as champion. No one in this company wants me to be the TWA champion. Is it jealousy? Yeah, it is. The fact is I can count on one hand how many people actually support me. Just look at the last show, look at how many people actually shared my promo video and I still surpassed in views. You see that Connor Cross? The TWA championship fits around my waist. The fact is, I am Joshua Charles. I am the TWA champion. I am the last hope. And on October the 5th, Connor Cross, if I have to go down swinging, I will. Even if I'm left for dead.